Hello everyone, welcome to this Cosin Physics 2016 part 5 and you can see there there's a, a ideal gas question there's a piston and suppose a system of monoatomic ideal gas in a cylinder with a piston as shown in the figure answer the following questions and round off your answer in two significant figures so let me draw the piston Right, so number one, it said the pressure P and the volume V and the temperature T of the ideal gas. So this is at the initi initial state, that is the pressure of 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. The initial volume is 1.2 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meter cubic. Then the initial temperature is 3 times 10 to the power of 2 Kelvin. Next, the external force F, okay, uh, push, the external force F slowly push the piston. As a result, the, in the final state of the pressure is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. The, the final volume is 8 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter cubic. Then the initial, the final temperature is Asked. So calculate the temperature T2 and the final state. So this is quite easy. You just have to use the ideal gas equation. And you know that PV equals nRT, right? Pressure, volume, the moles of the gas, and then the ideal gas constant and the temperature. And because we only know the value of PVT, and this is the initial, and this is the final state, we can use a ratio between PVT. So the PVT in the initial compare with the final state, right? Because T goes down, right? Because it is, you know, uh, directly proportional. So I, I make T in the down here. So we could change, substitute that, and we could get T2. So 10 to the power of 5, P1. Then V1 is 1.2 times 10 to the power of minus 4. T1 is 3 times to the power of 2. P2 is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 5. Then the initial, I mean the final V is 8 times 10 to the power of minus 5. Then T2 is asked, right? And you just have to, you know, calculate that carefully and you get T2 is 240 Kelvin or 2.4 times 10 to the power of 2 okay and now number two it says that pressure p and the volume v of the ideal gas at the initial state where p equals 10.5 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal then the v1 is 1.2 10 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meter cubic and next the external force F slowly push the piston. As the result, the volume change to V2, 8 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter cubic. Now calculate the work W of the external force F to the ideal gas. Now this is simple. The external force F resulted into work. So basically there's a force F, right, pushing this piston, this black uh, rectangle box here let's say that is a piston so the external force pushes the piston so it moves by the distance and because it is successfully pushed through a distance it resulted into work W right so for W the formula is P times Delta V because the pressure it is said you know it says in constant pressure but the volume change so you use P Delta V same as if you know the volume if con is constant and if the pressure change, that is will be V delta P. So P is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 and delta V, V2 minus V1, right? So that is eh, V1 minus V2 because this is bigger than here, right? So 1.2 times 10 to the power of minus 4. 
and you can change this into 10 to the power of minus 4 right so that is 0 0.8 so that is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 then it's 0 0.4 times 10 to the power of minus 4 so this is 6 joule okay and now for number 3 okay what is the molar specific heat of the monoatomic ideal gas at the constant volume let r be the gas constant of ideal gas choose the correct answer below from a to f well actually about you know molar specific gas of the constant volume is actually a constant so practically we have to memorize it so basically the table is like this so it is said that molar specific heat of cv that means c is the specific heat okay and it is at constant volume that's why there's a v in the subscript but there's also other condition where it is cp like this so there's a table where you should remember that this is a table for monoatomic gas or ideal gas monoatomic ideal gas or there's also a condition for diatomic gas with a low temperature possibly uh, no, uh, approximately less than 300 kelvin the constant for the molar specific heat of constant pressure in this table is 5 over 2 moles times the gas ideal ideal gas constant r but if cv so this is the question the answer is 3 over 2 and r Okay, n is the mole, and you know that it's monoatomic, so the answer is 3 over 2r. The answer is option C. And now there's another condition where you have a uh, diatomic gas with a pressure, with the temperature greater than 300 Kelvin, but less than 800 Kelvin. Okay, so that, for that, the constant here is 7 over 2nr. And this is uh, 5 over 2 nr. And for the diatomic gas greater than 800 Kelvin, this is 9 over 2 nr and 7 over 2 nr. Okay, so for the question, it is said that for the molar specific heat CV in the constant volume for the monoatomic ideal gas is this table 3 over 2 nr and the n is 1 okay so that is option c and now for number four uh, it is said that the pressure p and the volume v of the ideal gas and look at that is at the initial state that is 1 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal v1 is 6 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter cubic then there's an initial temperature 3 times 10 to the power of 2 Kelvin. And next, the volume and the temperature change. So there's a V2, 8 times 10 to the power of 5 meter cubic, but it is a constant pressure. So that is called an isobaric situation. Okay, so if you have constant pressure, it is known as isobaric. If you have constant volume, it's known as isochoric. And you, if you have a constant temperature, you have isothermic. So it is constant pressure, constant volume, and constant temperature. There's also another condition where the, uh, the heat is constant. So basically, I mean the heat transfer from outside to inside is zero. That is called the condition of adiabatic. But in this question, we are in the isobaric condition okay so we were asked about the calculate the amount of the heat q of the ideal gas from the external system to the process so we were asked about q and now remember that isobaric the formula of q is delta u plus w right so basically delta u is the internal energy okay this is the formula 3 over 2 uh, and r delta t but of course you know that according to the equation of the ideal gas that nrt is pv this could be 3 over 2 p delta v 
Okay, this is according to the situation in the question. So the situation in the question is you have the V, the volume changes. So you use this one. Is, is this the same? Uh, if it is only this question condition, you use the volume, right? This is the internal energy, 3 over 2, okay? But remember that this, this 3 over 2, it's not constant. I mean, it is not always 3 over 2 for any condition of gas. If you have monoatomic ideal gas and diatomic with low temperature less than 300K, you make 3 over 2. But if the condition is diatomic gas with the temperature between 300 to 800, you make this 5 over 2. And if you have the condition of diatomic gas greater than 800, you make that 7 over 2. Okay, for this condition, you only have 3 over 2 and you add with W. P delta V, right? And if it is in the condition, you can also use NR delta T, but we use the question condition. So it is 5 over 2 P delta V. So the pressure is 10 to the power of 5, right? And then multiply by the delta V. So it is V2 minus V1, which is 2 times 10 to the power of minus 5. This is 5 joule. Okay, so that is the answer for number four. And remember that this condition of Q, heat, it is actually only for isobaric. Okay, so for isobaric, Q is delta U plus W. But for isochoric, uh, for isochoric, the W is zero because W is P delta V, but the V is constant. So there is no uh, resultant V here, right? So the V is zero and W is zero. But if isothermic, isothermic delta U is zero. Because delta U, actually the formula is this, but because the question condition is that, and we can substitute at our delta T with delta P delta V, so we could use this. But remember that for isothermic, delta U is zero. Because delta U is, you know, equivalent to the energy changes and because of the temperature. So delta U is zero, and adiabatic Q is zero, right? So that is for number four, and yeah, this is actually related more to the ideal gas, and also the difference between these four, constant pressure, but in this question, you know, constant pressure is in all of the question, just be aware, you know, of the constant volume, constant temperature. Okay, so that is part four, and yeah, stay tuned for the next part. Thank you.